My mom, Annie, is delusional. She actually believes Michael Jackson wrote the song Smooth Criminal about her. My mom says 30 years ago that she was abused. She swears somehow Michael Jackson knew this was happening to her. My mom claims that all of it happened like the lyrics state. The blood on the carpet, hiding under the table, even escaping to the bedroom. My mom has even called Quincy Jones because she believes she's owed the rights to the song. There is absolutely no way my mom is Annie. Growing up, my mom had erratic behavior. She accused maintenance of stealing her undergarments. She believed our little sister's dad is six different people, that he had a secret tunnel and would come out as different people. She would go to thrift stores and buy paintings and later state that they were worth millions of dollars. A year ago, my mom lost her apartment. She is now homeless and living on the street with my 14-year-old little sister. In the last two months, they've lived in a donut shop, storage facility, even the public library. My little sister does digital graphics and does make a few dollars. So my mom makes our little sister pay for hotel rooms. Every day, I worry about them. My mother used to be a model, and now she's homeless. My mom does not work because she believes she's entitled to the rights of smooth criminal. I am livid. I want my mother to stop trying to cash in on the rights to this song and get a job and to support her and my little sister. Okay, you're concerned about your mother, but there's a 14-year-old child here, right? There is. What's going on with her and school and all of that? Our little sister's not in school. Um, she should be a freshman this year in high school and hasn't been in school since fourth grade. How does that happen? What, what do you mean she hasn't been in school since fourth grade? My mom claims she's homeschooled, but I honestly, um, yeah. I don't see curriculum. I don't, I don't believe that. Does this come out of the blue with your mother? I mean, I wouldn't say out of the blue. Um, it's been years. In Does the making. she have other things that are atypical? That I would she, say a lot of delusions. Like um, she believes she knows Vin Diesel, The Rock. She believes obviously the song was written about her. She talks about seeing stars randomly, and I don't believe it. She says she knows Vin Diesel and. The Rock. The Rock. Dwayne Johnson. So mm -hmm. does she hang out with them? Absolutely not. I mean, She hasn't I don't come by your house with them or anything? No. So do you reality test her on these things? Do you say, well, let's call them up. Let's meet them for lunch. Let's... I don't, honestly, because it's been something I've heard since I was a kid. So I'm kind of tired of it. So how long has she had this belief that she's Annie in the song? As long as I can remember, I've heard it really? since I was a teenager. Really? Mm -hmm. So this is something she's hung on to for a long time. Yes, Dr. Phil. And is she casually convinced of this, or is this at the core of her belief system? This is at the core of her belief system. She's called Quincy Jones. She has. She's reached out, emails, phone calls. She's very open with us about that. Mm -hmm. Hasn't received any correspondence back. No surprise there. Right. Does she do this from her job? Does she? She does not work. She doesn't have a job. She does not. And, and she doesn't have a job because she's going to cash in on this. I'm no expert, but I feel like she's entitled. She feels entitled. Um, her and my little sister are actually living on the streets. They have no place to live, and she refuses to work.